Brothers and sisters, I'm Father Frank Pavone, National Director of Priests for Life, speaking to you on election night of 2008. Barack Obama has been elected the new president of the United States, and this is one of the biggest mistakes that the American people have made in the entire history of our nation. And the many reasons why that's true will come to light as the months go on. But the biggest reason why that's true is that here we have a president-elect who cannot tell the difference between serving the public and killing the public. He is, as you know, the most ardent supporter of the so-called right to abortion in an unrestricted way throughout all nine months of pregnancy for any reason or no reason at all. This is a man who said, I don't know when a human rights attach to a, to a baby. Well, if you don't know when human rights begin, you're in no position to govern a country that was founded on the principle of human rights. But these are things that we'll talk a lot about in the coming days, weeks, and months. The point is, a lot changes with this. The pro-life movement has been able to work with the president for the last eight years. We've been working inside the White House. Now we're going to have to begin protesting outside the White House. We've been able to work on passing pro-life legislation. Now we're going to have to work on blocking pro-abortion legislation. A lot of things change, but a lot of things remain the same. And we as a movement, as we now assess our position and our strategies, have to keep in mind, first and foremost, the many things that remain the same. First of all, that the American people are pro-life. The American people have never bought in to the extreme abortion position of Obama and his party, and they never will. That's why the American people, as they are mobilized by us, the pro-life movement, will continue to work with us to intervene for those who are in situations where they feel they have to have an abortion, not because of freedom of choice, but because of despair. We, they will continue to work with us as we pray outside abortion mills and close those mills. They will continue to work with us as we educate the public and activate the churches. The American people are pro-life. That has not changed. That will not change. And this movement will continue marching towards the pro-life America that we seek, and we won't stop until we get there. Brothers and sisters, the nature of abortion has not changed and will not change. And so we continue to challenge pro-abortion public officials. We will challenge every single day President-elect Obama to tell us if when he says the word abortion, he means the tearing off of the arms and legs of little babies and the crushing of their skulls. The reality of abortion hasn't changed, and we will continue to expose it to the hearts and minds of the, the American conscience, and they will continue to reject the evil of abortion. This election was not won by Obama because people agree with his abortion views. By no means. And they will come to know what those views are because of the work that our movement will continue to do. A lot of things have not changed. And what is never going to change is that this movement is headed for victory. When Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was told that the political realities made the passage of civil rights legislation impossible, he said, we're just going to have to see about that. And then he said, we started a movement. And we too have started a movement on behalf of the unborn. And that movement enters a new chapter today, a chapter of new determination, of new vigor, of new strategy. Our organization, Priests for Life, grew and flourished under the Clinton years, another pro-abortion president. We labored against great obstacles, but at the same time, the movement grew, and we will grow again in these coming years as we work together to continue to awaken the conscience of America to the need to bring an end to abortion. Be encouraged. It's fine to be disappointed about the outcome of an election, but we can never walk away from the cause. Together, we will work, we will protest, we will defend, we will intervene, we will educate, and we will win this struggle for the lives of our unborn brothers and sisters. I look forward to working with you in these crucial weeks and months ahead and to celebrating with you the day of victory. Let's keep in touch, and God bless you.